ladies and gents, and welcome to this. This is uh, a special episode for Acewind. Acewind is uh, going to start playing this with me in a competitive mode. And um, what I wanted to do was play a game and then do a post-game recount of it. So this map we've played before. So I'll be talking to now as if I'm talking to Acewind. So this map we've played before. We normally play from the south. What's really important on this map is I was tempted to rush down to here. As you can see on the map, there's one fuel close to their base and one fuel close to the other person's base, as with most maps. If you capture this building straight away, you can harass them and stop them capping this fuel for quite a long time into the game and deny them that fuel from the early game, which is really useful. I told my ally to go and secure our fuel, make sure he secured it. He did quite well. We're up against these boys. We're not up against the Wehrmacht army. Um, see what I did here. These guys are really good, as I said, close combat. I kept my distance, didn't get too close. They should have rushed me there and got in close combat, they didn't. So I went and used cover from here to hit them from the flank. I think, they, yeah, they got a very lucky kill off there because I am behind cover at an angle and they're not and they're at range. Build, you can see the build there. Top left, I've got an MG coming down. But I happen to get these guys running into me, from I think from the other team. No, they're not the same team. And uh, they kind of screwed up my, my plans, which is my MG there. I'll leave these guys to try and pick them off, which they do. They're too busy chasing my MG, so I use this opportunity to come down and decap their fuel. So it's going quite nicely. I've decapped their fuel. I've got myself a... Where is he? Let me get rid of the fog of war for this. This will help. Where There he is. So I got myself a carrier, and I've never... I've not really used them. But I knew it would be useful in this if I'm going to play aggressively, which is the idea. I was going to play aggressive on this match. Um, and if you look, it's actually smashing the car quite nicely. I had to retreat these guys, but I decap their fuel, which is great. Now, I harass a decent amount with this. I got myself a second uh, rifleman squad. I try to take out their... No, I don't try to take out their brain. I focus on their units there. This guy's not too bad tanker, but you have to be careful. It's not this army yet. But if you're playing against the Wehrmacht, the Wehrmacht have a disposable RPG, a disposable Panzerschreck that they can pop off without actually having the weapon on the army itself. So you have to be careful. So I draw this guy back, because I couldn't remember if the other army is Wehrmacht or not. I didn't want to lose him so early. So I pop the uh, ability here, which is... Uh, only 15 munitions to do a bit of repair. I did it too close to the enemy, which sucks, but what it did do is it focused their fire on him, so I could focus my fire on their car. I set up my MG behind, give myself cover in case there's any flanking, take out the car. My car's still alive. Now, By now, I should already be building the second building back at the base. Let's have a look-see to get myself some engineers. I can't see how I can see it, but no, maybe I'm not yet, but so I you should know about Brits in green cover or even yellow cover any kind of cover they do increase their rate of fire and I believe maybe even the accuracy as well so it's really important to get them into cover even if it's not directional cover even if you're on the same side as the wall as the enemy you're still gonna be firing, firing a little bit faster okay so my allies seem to be doing okay our fuel is secure we've been getting fuel this whole time and they've they've got it now but they uh, they're missing it for a little bit so let's speed this up a little bit. Moving up my MG. Uh, I've only got the one MG right now. Should have got a second MG, but I wanted to get my engineers out quickly. Um, what I found is there. This guy's tactics is mass infantry. So he's gonna. When you get mass infantry, it's really important to have suppression. MGs are really, really important. So he's gonna blob out. So he's only got three units here. You can see up here. He's only got the three units at the moment, but he starts spamming these close combat guys. I can't remember what they're called, but they're pretty nasty. So he's got three. My MG is not a bad position. Suppress them. Let's slow back down a little bit. Got my engineers up so I can now start repairing. Got a healing pack on one of my guys so I can start healing as well. In a map that's this width. So my MG here is not really covering here. If, they, if I didn't have vision here now, they could easily, and I wasn't looking, they could easily, and they do this later, walk around the back and flank me. And uh, it nearly cost us the game. So now he's got... He went for an MG. Actually, he went for an MG. But he does spam later on some nasty stuff. So their MG's setting up now. So I can't really push against the fuel. Or can I? So check this out. I spot their MG. 
now. You can't see because of the fog of war. Uh, I only just spotted now. Now, it turns out this universe carrier is not bad versus MGs. Look, one guy dead already. And I've barely taken any damage. Okay, it is one vetted, so that makes a difference. I can now focus fire on them. I have an MG suppressing them. As soon as they walk into range, there's nothing they can do. I can now decap their fuel. They're going to lose that MG unless they retreat. And if I was fast enough, I could have used my engineers to take that, retreat my engineers. I would have had my second MG ready. But I didn't. I went and I built a uh, another rifleman squad. I got a bit greedy there, although it was a good idea. Pop down mines on little entrances like this whenever you can. You know they're going to come through there. It's going to slow them down. It's going to have to make them retreat that unit immediately because they're going to take one, two, or three uh, losses to that unit. And it delays them pushing. So I put one there. I think I probably put one down there later as well. Um, up on this road is also a useful position. Any kind of you know choke point like that, the infantry have to walk across. Now, my ally gets in a bit of trouble here. He has a Bofors. But this guy here has got better range. So what you should be doing here is he should have put a unit inside the Bofors. And then when you're inside the Bofors, you have this ability here, which is suppressive barrage. So you can shoot at a longer range, and it would rain down fire on top of him. Probably wouldn't kill him, but would be enough to deter him off. Okay. So what I do is I, I've got a unit back at base. I, I, that's not me. Hmm, I should have... Yes, I do. I got Pierce on one of my units. I OP'd a unit because I had extra manpower. So I OP'd fuel, I think. No munitions. Because what my idea was to go uh, like two, three, or four even rifleman squads. Upgrade two of them with uh, Pierce so they're decent anti infantry. There we go. We're going to put some mines down here. And then. Um, and the other ones with anti. Just like one or two anti infantry. So I assumed they would go early tanks, which often they do, like this, early vehicles, so my peers would tear through them. He still hasn't got anyone in there, still not repairing it, he could have moved up his MG, I don't know if he's got the, uh, he's got the, uh, no he doesn't, there's armor piercing round, so he lost his, his bro force, which kind of strikes. At this point, I send off my units north, I send off an AT gun, I believe, uh, one of my riflemen there, with Piets, and I start to focus, looking up there, I send units up there to have a look. Whilst I'm doing that, as I recall, this is where it all goes wrong. So they put a guy in there to get some vision. Meanwhile, they're flanking around here. This is what I didn't see. So this is what he starts to do. He starts to spam all these infantry. He's got these guys here, brutal at close combat, whatever they are. I can't even read the name. It's so small. Can I make this larger? I can, okay. Fallen, Sch I don't know. Fallen Schlagen Jäger or something. So they take out my MG. They take out my uh, very newly upgraded, two vet upgraded with uh, Flamer. So I lost an MG and that. I was not happy. My AT is now in place. I take out their, their car, the car. Oh no, I don't take it out now. I'll take it out in a minute. Um, I lose this whole squad, which is upgraded with Piet because I was looking down the bottom now. And I should have just retreat, re re retreated. But I was too busy focusing on what's going on over here. So this squad dies which is VET and upgraded with a peer, which really sucks. He does give me a click warning. We can't see it here, but I, I just missed that. I was really angry about that. So I lost an MG, a universal carrier, and a whole upgraded VET-1 rifleman squad. So that really sucked, and I thought, oh, we're probably going to lose this now. Um, but what you'll see very commonly on this kind of lower level, this is like level, I don't know what rank this is, 10 or something, um, one thing you saw there, by the way, these are really good at close combat. But your engineers, British engineers, are actually not bad at really close combat. They don't have much health, but they're not bad. So this is where I move in. My AT is there. I'm just going to move up now. Move up. He's got Piets. So what he's got here, Piets lob like, like you've a hand-thrown grenade. They don't need direct line of sight. He could have, first of all, he's not attacking the car. He should have put it like here. I hit behind this house. I took it out of my AT. He should have hit this behind the house so that the car couldn't shoot him directly because it requires de direct line of sight and they could lob Piets over to kill him. That's what my guys were doing there. But uh, obviously I took my eyes off them and the car retreated. So now I'm left with not much. I've had to retreat everything. I've gone for the Piets again because I, I've not really seen much of what their build is but it's going to contain a lot of these, uh, these guys here. Fallstrom Jäger. Okay, so Fallstrom Jäger units are very good at close combat. So what he does is he uh, is he 
we'll keep the fog and war for now and we're going to go back to what I can see um, so I focus refocus on my side I don't have an MG but I build another one which I don't normally do because I know there's probably at least one MG laying around somewhere I know that my guy died uh, here I think and they had an MG that died there as well I was tempted to to push down and grab that and retreat because obviously it costs less to reinforce a, a squad that's that's lower numbers than buy a whole new MG, but it was, it was really important to get suppression. So important versus the Germans with those kind of elite infantry. And these guys here, they can vet up and they've got these uh, upgrades, these rifle upgrades, whatever it is, they're, they're pretty nasty. So as you can see here, they've got the fire Panzerfaust. So it's this army with these guys that don't need, to, you don't need to see the Shrek icon or whatever on them, Panzer Shrek to be fearful of your armoured vehicles because they do have a disposable one that costs only 30 munitions. So at this point, this guy comes in. Luckily, he's got an MG in there. I come over to flank. My MG is set up at the front. I think it might get flanked. I can't remember. So, again, green cover, really important. We fire, do more damage. These guys are good at close combat, but we're doing a decent amount of damage. I think, actually, at this point... Yes, it was at this point. I don't think he saw it, but... This guy here quit. Once I blew up his car, he quit. So they're actually a man down. Yep, they uh, they took out my... Oh, they didn't take out my energy. I think I retreated it. Yep, I retreated it because they rushed it. So they've got all these guys. Spam these guys. One, two. Got an MG there. Another rifleman unit there. Um, another one of these vehicles coming in. They're nasty. So I get in this building to try and soak up a bit of damage because I've got to pull my MG back. My MG died. They No, it didn't. It's there. It's there. It's very nearly dead. No, it's not mine. That's our allies. It is dead. So I lose my MG. I'm now down to a tank. It's a tank gun. Engineer squad and these guys who are about to die. So I pull them out. We've now lost all this territory. We still have the fuel this whole time, which is really good. We still have a VP and my allies come in. But he, look, Piat, Piat, Piat on everything. He's got no anti-infantry. Okay, his MG is way too far back here. He should have had this up to cover this corner for any flanking. Or, ideally, put it in the middle to cover this VP. But he didn't. So, I pull out this bad boy. Uh, and decide to go chasing... Chase these people down. It's not a bad idea. I think I take out the MG. And I think I take out the car as well. I get myself a new MG. Yeah. So, he's already got two kills. But, you have to be careful with these guys. Because they are quite squishy. They don't move very fast as well. Which is annoying. So he's, had to, he's done a full retreat, which probably shouldn't have done. Well, maybe he should. This guy he shouldn't have. He should have kept them. He should have been putting mines down here, mines here, mines here. Anywhere where there's a little space. I don't know if we can see his resource. We can. So he's got 220 munitions there. And he could be popping down things. So I decide to go and help flank. I see the bazookas on these guys, the Shreks that are on these guys. So I immediately target them. I'm not worried about this. But what I don't see is these guys coming up behind me. So I was way too deep. Now... Because of their disposable Shrek thing, is only 30, the cooldown you see is really fucking short as well. And it damaged my engine. So now I can't retreat, basically. I just, I just think I'm dead. That's it. I've lost this guy. Move my engineers. I've tried to repair, but there was no point. So these guys here, again, disposable Shrek. The, the uh, elite infantry don't have it. But these guys are coming in. They do have it. It is the AI, but the AI is not stupid. I lost my engineers. I was just panicking a bit. And I lost my guy as well. So this is not going well at all, I thought. This is this is probably GG. I didn't want to give up, though. Because, I mean, did they cap behind us? They capped behind us. And here. No, I'm not. I'm looking at the wrong thing. No, they didn't. Sorry, I was the wrong player. They didn't cap. They're decapping. So there's certain points here. This point here. And the equivalent, which is this point here. Are both cutoff points. So they've decapped this. And this cuts our bases off from here. Everything from here. So without this one point here, you lose everything on this side, and vice versa. For them, if we take this point, it cuts off everything, including their fuel. So those are really good to back cap. Whenever you've got a free second or a free unit, and you can quickly run down there, decap it. It's a great place to go. I accidentally built a sniper, as you can see up here. Did not mean to build that sniper. That was an accident. So they're suppressed. My guys have moved up. I've recapped this point, which is munitions, which is really useful because I want to start. I decide, obviously, they are going to spam infantry. Now, they've not had a huge amount of fuel, and I only need one or two AT guns to be able to deal with any tanks they pull out. I'm not going to go for any tanks, so I decide I'm going to build another MG later on. 
and um, I got the 180. Oh, I need my engineers, so I need my engineers back. Decide to throw a volley in there. Okay, I'm going to retreat now. This front should be covered if they push up. Miley's pushing on mid. Let's speed this up a little bit. Okay, they flanked me again. So see how they flanked me there? They came around the flank, saw my MG where it was. They flanked it. I accidentally set it up. Got to retreat it. Hopefully I won't lose it. My sniper's picking them off, keeping them as max distance as I can. Take a pot shot, maybe retreat a little bit more. No, nope, I don't retreat because they're there. So I'm hopefully we can snipe them, but he's not actually in... There we go. Now we can get vision. No, we can't. Okay, so he's in a bad position. I don't want to jump over the wall. I've got to pull him back now. They've got these annoying little AT guns that have got to take out my beautiful OP, and it's gone. So I only have one infantry squad, which is upgraded with the healing pack, the uh, medical supplies, and I, I didn't learn grenades. should have learned grenades, really. So when you're up against this kind of mass infantry blob, you've got to have suppression, ideally grenades, and you want the, the Centaur Akak tank is great, but you just got to keep it back. you got to keep it back. you got to be careful of ATs and everything, and they are squishy, and if they get hit, they do slow down a lot. So I use my sniper to pick them off. Snipers are not the best versus mass infantry, which sounds strange. But the problem is their rate of fire is so slow. What's that, like 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Felt like 12 seconds there, about 12. Let's say 10 seconds per shot. So 12 seconds to kill one unit. See the range? Even at range, you'd manage to wipe out a whole squad there. These guys are dangerous. My MG is set up at a distance. Move it up a little bit. Going to pop them into cover quickly. Just draw them into the fire so my sniper can pick them off. My MG can suppress them. Bait them towards me. Run them back. Got myself another infantry squad now. Now I do see this artillery. So they are shooting artillery from somewhere. So let's lose the fog of war and see what's going to happen. They have a tank. This is actually quite good. Uh, the Panzer IV is good versus um, infantry. Now the artillery lobbing piece is the AI. So he's. I'm not that worried about him. He's going to be sporadic. He's going to choose targets of opportunity is not going to be that good. So he goes after the mortar. I'm moving up. I have one AT gun. What, I think I've only got the one Piat on this squad. I don't have two Piats. Each squad can hold. By the way, you might not know this. I've clicked on him, his squad, and I clicked to pick up the, uh, the what is it? The Bren. If you click on it again, they'll pick up a second Bren. You can only hold two weapons per squad maximum, normally. Um, there are some exceptions. So they're volleying against me. I move up my MG as support. MG goes first, then AT comes behind it later when you know you've got suppression. I still have not seen the tank. Okay, it's not in my field of view. I've got Piat on the engineers as well. These guys are waiting. So they've obviously seen my sniper. They're waiting to try and rush in. I move the sniper back so he's within the... Uh, it's too late. See the range? That's a machine gun, and it kills them at that range, which is insane. So these guys are pretty OP, and they're only vet one. So I see this guy... AT's moved up, one hit. So I know I can kill this guy because these guys got Piats, see? So that's a Piat hit, and there's one AT hit. Probably gonna get a second one now. Boom. Gotta turn him around. He's gonna, the only thing he can do now is try and run it. If he was smart, he'd immediately run around here and try and get out. Because he, these Piats are just gonna chase now. Their infantry can't push because I've got an M3 suppressing them. These guys are anti infantry now, but they are too close to them. He's about to go down, probably to the Piats. Pierce hit, but they don't do much damage. Oh, we got him. We did get him. Okay, so their tanks, they've lost the tank. That was really expensive for them. So now they just have infantry. Three of these nasty squads and uh, one of those. One of those AT guns, which are useless because I haven't got any armor at all. So at this point now, I got one AT gun, two MGs. So I brought up a second MG here because now I see their tactics. It took me a little while to see it, but now I see that they're blobbing infantry. Because they've been a little bit, not just deprived of fuel, but maybe this is this guy's tactics. Because these guys are obviously ridiculously great at flanking. So, okay, now what I've got to do, I move up one MG. I want him to cover one side. And I want the other MG to cover this side. And then I can move up my infantry to start capping. But they're completely covered by the MGs that can suppress. So I turn this guy. His arc now is covering this flank completely. But I need to cover this. Boom. So now I'm completely covered. I lost my sniper, which really sucks. Because uh, it's not because it's really that useful versus an infantry blob, as I said, but what it is good at is scouting. So you put him on hold fire mode, so you can't, he doesn't fire. As long as he stays in cover, he'll be invisible. 
so I can move him up slowly to be able to reveal what I can't see. So I'd move him up to like here. Okay, is there any MGs there? There's no MGs. Okay, I can just move my infantry squad up straight away. That's fine. I can now move up another M my MG to move up to cover a bit further forwards. Other MG moves forwards. Really, you should move up one MG at a time. But I was very comfortable. They just retreated the whole army. They weren't going to be here yet. So I was comfortable enough to, uh, to do that. This is where I selected my general. And I went for the... Um, the commandos which I don't normally do but I saw their infantry blobs and I thought I could get my commandos that are probably equal to the uh, force from Jaeger units so now I have two rifleman squads one engineer two MGs I'm going to get the uh, Akak tank again because my idea is I've got one AT here if I get a second AT I'll be able to handle probably even two tanks if they if they rush me with two tanks because I've got the PS on these guys my engineers and on one of my rifleman squads should be fine so I pull them back, they run into my fire. I decide to build a pit to put my MG in. See, what you'll see is, look what he's doing now. He's seen my MGs here, he can see the arc. If you click on it, you see the arc. He's gonna go for the flank. This time, finally, 20 minutes into the game, I am prepared. So he's gonna run into my MG. There's nothing he can do. I can move up with these guys and be aggressive. I can cap, boom, suppressed. But I don't, I, just, I was gonna finish this off, but what I wanna do is attack them get their health down quickly in case they could throw grenades so they've got a uh, bundle 24 grenades these things are brutal they will take out an entire mg in one hit easily entire squad in one hit i don't know why he wasn't firing watch this that's how bad they are it's not just one grenade it's a bundle of them so they take out my mg which sucks but my my centaur is up and in place they do have an mg there now but that's fine so i can move this guy up and I could take out their MG. Retreat those guys. This guy's finished now. I'm going to leave the MG there just to cover me. They have a tank and an AT. Now, this is a problem. Now, I'm down to 50% health with two hits. I didn't even see it at first. Now I've seen it. It's too late. Because, uh, again, I lost another Centaur, which really, really sucks. A very expensive loss. Move up my AT. I should be moving up my AT. There we go. It's moving up finally. I'm going to leave them there. It's kind of bait for the tank. But I want to keep capping. Hopefully, he'll stay there. So then I can move up my AT. If I had two AT, he also got hit by another uh, Piat. At this point, I have no vision. I can't see him. I don't know where he's gone. So I move up. It's only an AT gun. If his tanks stop there, which often they do just stop, like so, I could probably get him. I've got two Piats, AT. The Piats don't always do much damage, which is a problem. But for some reason, I have ridiculous range. Uh, it's just in range. Just in range of my AT gun, which is fine. So now we've got major map dominance. My guy over here, he's doing quite well against the AI. He's got this here, which is not bad positioning, but they could easily sneak up from there with a load of rockets and shoot it. It would have been better a bit over here, I think. Um, and now where was my guys? So I started to build. You saw that I started to build another Centaur and I thought better of it. I didn't want to lose another one. What I should be doing is either if I want to build armor that can deal with armor and... Uh, melee, uh, melee units, infantry. I would go with either the Cromwells, which are cheap, effective, or Churchills, because I chose the uh, hammer. I think it's hammer tactics. So these guys are moving up. My MG now, I only have one, is in there. So this is where they're coming for the flank. So this, I see a car over here. Oh, and they quit. That was it. They quit. It says sink error, but they quit the game. The last guy quit the game, and uh, we got the win. So it looks like a sync error hack, which is a hack some people do. But we won the game in the end. I played horribly, but it's a really good learning lesson that. Because normally these, this army goes tanks. They normally have some nasty vehicles they go for. So I was preparing for more anti-tank infantry stuff. But I should just now know I know very well about these Volkswagen, Volkswagen Jagers, Jagers units are, are brutal. So I might go for a, a double MG build versus them. Um, and then I can get uh, rifles after that if I want to. So that's it. Hope you learned something. Other people that might watch this, please feel free to comment. If you want to see more of this kind of stuff, I'm happy to do it. I'm no expert, definitely no expert. I'm fairly noobish at this game, but I am learning. And uh, I, I could do a kind of learning curve video. As I learn, I can teach other people or, or, or learn from you guys if you write comments and stuff like that as well. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.